we are out here on Silver Ridge Peaks for our Black Bear Grind for approximately the 125th time. And I know that because I decided to go and do some math and figuring roughly 25 kills per run because we used to do longer runs where we'd get about 30. Now we get closer to 20. That puts us with just under 3,200 kills at approximately 125 runs, which every run takes a little less than an hour. So maybe 110-ish hours on the grind so far. And to put that into perspective, it took us approximately that long to get our Great One Whitetail in about 1600, maybe 1650 kills. So nearly double the kills in about the same amount of time. And I think that does show just how far these grinds have come and in the strategies and everything that goes into them. Back then when so much was unknown, getting 1600 kills in like a month and a half it was, seemed like a monumental task and now it's kind of maybe less than average even for a grind with black bear where you don't get nearly as many animals on a map at least it seems as you do with whitetail but maybe run number 125 is going to be the one we'll see how we go from here but starting off with a bear at one of our starter lakes is always good of course we know it's not going to be a gold being that it was a level 5 so no gold to start with but that hasn't exactly brought us any kind of good luck on any of the previous runs, so maybe uh, not that big a deal what we start with. Now that's looking a little better, got a level 7 coming out of here. Hopefully we can make that shot, that was a bit back. I think the follow up's going to be enough to get along and get us the gold. Another one coming out of there as well, there's always one female, so generally if we see a second bear we know it's not something we have to worry about. So we'll go up and see what this guy is. Should have been a gold as long as that shot wasn't too far back on the follow-up. And honestly, based on the blood, I think we got liver even the first time. Actually, both times. Liver and stomach. I guess it's the way he's in that animation after the first shot that it ended up being the same thing, but counts as a vital either way and gets us our first gold. Now again, it is only a level 5. But I tend to consider really any run in which we get males at the lakes that we have, at least to be good starts for the runs. Many times, and I believe I talked about this on Thursday, the first four lakes being these two and these two won't produce anything, and this one at the beginning really rarely does it ever have any. We come back here a second time. Actually, I wanted to talk about that and how we've kind of switched up our method for grinding just a little bit for each run. and. Maybe we'll go into a little bit more detail later on, but three bears now between three main lakes that actually produce anything at all in the early parts of the run, that's definitely a good sign. But as for our second level five, 17.8 silver, and we'll jump on to the next lake here. So after what was a fairly lackluster rest of the first half of the run, we finally have another decent bear out here, and I do plan to do basically two full runs today, and for that reason, a bunch of level 4 stuff like that in the middle of the run, I decided to cut that stuff out because otherwise it's going to be a very long video. But maybe as we're running along here, this could be a good time to explain the difference in how we approach these runs. You guys may recall at the beginning of the grind, I talked about checking every single lake twice. And while that was effective and was producing about 30 bears per run, I felt like by the end, it was kind of diminishing returns, I wasn't getting as many bears for the time I was putting in after checking the Mule Deer Outpost Lake and going to some of those other spots for a second time. So now generally, I'll only check one or two spots after 1800. It gets to be about 1815 somewhere in there, and then I'll head to the Mule Deer Outpost and you'll remember on Thursday's video, I mentioned sometimes to go and check some of the other lakes after dark, but it's not nearly as extensive as it used to be and I really don't know what the best strategy is, but I do feel like this has kind of sped things up a little bit. It is the reason though why we get less bears overall per run. I just think at least per hour, it ends up being a little bit better. But as you can see, we're a little bit slow today. It is 1821. So we're gonna grab our level six, a silver level six, unfortunately, and head over to the Mule Deer Outpost Lake. Now again, to reference Thursday's video, I talked about the optimism that goes into this lake and just knowing that it is by far the best black bear lake on our map and just that we're going to see so many bears and it just gives us decent odds of something being a pretty good size. Now, I will say, not only is nothing, at least immediately, any kind of good size on this run, 
it's also a little bit empty here. So what we may do then is go ahead and check a couple lakes after dark here. I really have no idea if that influences anything whatsoever, but sometimes that does seem to help, so I figured it'll be worth a shot. Should be fairly easy going though as far as trying to make sure we get everything down. I think we should be okay to go 308 here. We'll actually go with the three broadside ones first, and then the one that's facing us. I think we can maybe manage to take a slower shot with that guy. I'm hoping he's either going to turn or stand. I mean, he kind of did, but it didn't do what we wanted. In a normal run, that's just not something we can mess with. We would just have to try to make sure we get a good shot in there, but he wasn't really going to go anywhere, so it wasn't going to be a big deal. Is that the same one? I don't remember what level it even was. He is going to kind of run around out there. Eventually, he should slow down. I thought it might have been a four, but we'll just kind of take what we can get in the meantime. Not the best shooting on that one either, and there's still one over to the left, but as long as they all want to go this way, it really doesn't matter. They take enough time to get up through this mountain, when there are so few like this, that we're going to get all our shots in there and should be able to bring them all down. Now the one maybe downside is we didn't get the spot that four going through there. I don't know that he's going to go down, but he is kind of non-stop sprinting, which normally indicates they will eventually. His health just is not really indicating that at all. It's just going to make for a really tough shot, especially kind of sliding around on this steeper part of the hill. I think we got a hit in there. So that's going to be enough to bring him down. And then the only question is, because that took so much extra effort, can we get the last one? He's scooting up through the trees over there. I think this is the one we saw over on the other side of the lake. Hopefully we can get a shot in there. I think that'll do follow up to make sure and we'll just quickly scan around and see if anything is hiding and quite honestly there were so few here that I'd be surprised if anything was so I think we got them all a little less than ideal in the end but at least we managed to make up for some bad shots and actually rather than including the claiming of a bunch of very mediocre black bears we know that none of these are going to be any kind of special at all I want to move to the only kind of interesting kill I've had since Thursday's video which is something after 3,000 kills we hadn't yet accomplished. And I'll be honest, I was more excited to spot this than I was for probably any of the level 9s or rares in the last several thousand kills. So we'll, uh, we'll check that out instead of claiming a bunch of kind of average size bears at best. We are slowly but surely checking off every possible thing we could get for Black Bear without getting a great one. We finally... After 3,111 kills, I think it is, have a level 1 out here in front of us, and why would it not be at the Mule Deer Outpost Lake? Now, for the sake of not sitting through and watching this same lake for, who knows, maybe the 50th time that we've done this, we'll just go ahead and take that shot and scoot to the claiming portion, although I'd like him to not cover his vitals. Of all things, worrying about messing up a level 1, but... Should be good there, so we'll try to make halfway decent shots on whatever's left here. Make sure we get everything down, and we'll go and collect our first minimum level of the grind. Now, it might be kind of stupid, but that makes me more optimistic about this grind and, and just feeling like we're making progress than any of the diamonds or rares, at least lately, because it does seem to be such an incredibly unlikely spawn. There are not a lot of level 1 black bears around. That was a level 3 that was in there. So I think it's going to have to be this one, although I didn't think it was a dusky fur type. That was a level 4. Actually, I guess we made that brain shot then. So then, did he run to this side? Definitely not making it easy on us. I thought he was either a dark or a black fur type. This one is a black fur type. And that is our level 1. 13.2 on the trophy rating. Not minimum weight, I think minimum is 62.5 or something like that, near minimum weight for that guy, but that is definitely our Hall of Shame Black Bear. But like I said, they're very, very few and far between. 3,100 kills before our first one, and I can pretty confidently say I've never got one. Prior to this, you know, outside of the grind in any capacity, level 2 males for sure, I don't think I've ever had a level 1 male, so that said... Like I said, weirdly encouraging just because we got what is a very unlikely spawn. And by the way, I guess one did actually manage to get through there. 
That'll happen on occasion, but normally, the nice thing is they tend to run back down the hill if we have to come up here and claim something. So the level six that we shot twice up at the top of the hill was a gold. And we'll see on this one, it might've been just a straight spinal cord shot anyway. I don't immediately see much blood lighting up, so that is going to be my guess. But uh, I guess the positive, checking out the level one black bear that we got, that was one thing that we hadn't yet killed. Actually, that was double long, just fine, 19.5 gold for him. And yeah, just checking another thing off the list of possible kills on a grind like this. Other than like super rares, I guess to have a, a tiering of rares, we haven't had a gold cinnamon yet. There's not a whole lot left to kind of go for other than stuff like that and of course the great one. So hopefully that's a, a good sign of getting closer and closer. Like I said at the time, the mere fact that we got such an uncommon spawn, I think is a good sign. Well, finally going to the other lakes that didn't produce anything at least pays off a little bit with a level four. Now, I don't know if that's maybe the dark fur type or possibly a brown. There's something about the night vision and just kind of like the early part of the night where it's not completely dark and you get a little bit of extra light that can make some of those bears look a little bit different. So I'm not sure if that's anything special, but you can probably tell there's been a reasonably significant passage of time since the Mule Deer Outpost Lake, and that has been from going around, like I said, and trying to check some of these lakes after dark. There's just not been a whole lot going on, so at least there was something here. The last spot we're actually going to check is down at this lake. No black bears on this run earlier there either, so maybe that'll produce. It used to be pretty consistent, and fairly often if I go after dark, one will be there, but at least we got the one level four here. Little bit of an obstacle course trying to get through here, but that is the dark fur type. No kind of rare or anything with that, but like I said, at least there's something kind of making it worth our time to come out here for a second run through. And kind of as expected, we do have another male bear here. Now it is a level five. So between our two lakes that actually produce a level four and a level five for our efforts running through here for another 10 minutes or something, nothing crazy, but Again, I have seen, at least anecdotally, some results from checking the lakes later and then going back for generally what becomes a more productive run on the next one. And we're going to go through and see if that ends up being the case again today. But nothing, at least in terms of trophy bears from this entire run. So we'll grab our level 5 real quick. Left lung couldn't quite get the heart there from the frontal shot. And we'll head off and start a fresh run. And just in time, we've got a level six walking down here to our first lake. So we'll go ahead and take that with a 300 and I guess kind of get started in a similar way to the last run. Better size, that one being a six versus the level five. We also have, that's gotta be a different one, right? I, I don't think we could have completely missed. So I guess a second level six in there. And it definitely was. I hadn't paid attention to the score estimates and I have a guess now, just because the one that we actually made a long shot is a silver, I'm betting this one's gonna be a gold, just because that would be our luck to make the bad shot on one that is a little bit bigger. Not that it really matters at the end of the day, but yeah, as expected, this one would have been a good size gold. Two intestine shots at least brought it down pretty quick and didn't require tracking for what was a messed up gold. None, I don't think though over there where the level five was last time so we can just get going and really speed our run up not having to run around that side of the lake yet again we've got a male bear hidden in the reeds over here before he kind of drops back down we'll take that shot no idea what it might have been but you guys have maybe seen the glitch that sometimes occurs with standing black bears where if you go for like a chest shot basically the shot that you should probably go for sometimes it's as if there's just no hitbox, the shot seemingly goes right through the bear. What I've noticed, at least so far, is that if the bear's not facing you directly, if you're kind of shooting through the shoulder or anything like that to get into the chest cavity, that seems to work just fine. There's just something about a black bear standing on its hind legs facing you directly that just causes some kind of strange thing to happen. So those shots are pretty safe. Although, I don't even know how we hit the liver. One thing that's maybe not so safe is shooting directly between the lungs. It also wasn't as big an angle as I thought, but still worked out. 20.2 gold for that guy. If the last one was 
particularly slow getting through to all of our lakes and checking a couple of spots twice. This one has been crazy fast. It is currently just hitting 1800 and this is the second lake we've checked for a second time on this run. There have been so few bears at all the different spots. Maybe it is kind of official evidence that checking some of those areas after dark doesn't really influence anything. It might have just been the luck of how things respawn, but we're still going to be able to get to probably two more lakes after this, which I guess is good. Hopefully we can kind of make up for some of the missing kills on this run. I would say we're at maybe seven. And of course the Mule Deer Outpost Lake is always something that can bail us out there if there's a ton of bears. And I'm hoping for the best because everything else so far has not looked all that good. Now that doesn't mean we don't want to be quick about things, so I think we're going to go maybe down to here again. Or actually, let's go over to these, because these didn't have any. Actually, I don't think they've had any male bears for either of the last two runs, and they're usually pretty decent spots, so I want to give them one last shot before we go to the Mule Deer Outpost. And again, nothing at this spot. I had a run maybe within the last four or five where there were three males here, so it does happen. And again, I guess that just kind of shows some of the randomness of where stuff respawns. We'll give this spot a look, and regardless of outcome, it's going to be time to go to the Mule Deer Outpost Lake after this, so fingers crossed for something. And honestly, par for the course for this run. No males up here either, and again, this is a spot that a lot of times if I come here later like this, we'll have two or three males, so... It's down to the Mule Deer Outpost Lake to produce something for us, and I guess we'll find out shortly if it's gonna. Numbers-wise, we're looking a whole lot better. I don't know how many were here last time, maybe like seven? There seems to be at least double digits this time. I don't see any that are huge. There's at least one in the reeds I couldn't spot, and I think one of these up in here we didn't get spotted either, but... We'll start with the 7 and the 8 on the left. I think, again, we can go 308. Just because there are enough broadside bears, it's just going to take a little bit of kind of recoil management and maybe some luck as to what spooks and what doesn't. And we ended up with two shots unused. Actually, I don't recall spotting a max weight level 7s. So that was maybe the one that was in the reeds. And probably should have reloaded the 300, although I think we'll be okay. It is very kind of down to how these first couple of shots go. And a lot of times, like right after that, although I thought that shot was going to be okay, we can usually kind of sneak in a reload and it not cost us the time. I'm fairly unsure as to where we actually hit that one. And it is, honestly, like I said, down to those first couple of shots, that can kind of derail the entire thing here. Getting a little bit behind, letting a couple of bears get up through here and now we're kind of in trouble. One's kind of scooting off that way. I haven't seen one do that in a long time, but that one's going to end up escaping. We're going to have to kind of stay focused and watch where these couple try to go. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and hit that guy. And I thought I may have seen, I did, one scooting through over here. They're really kind of spreading out this time. Not our best shooting by any stretch. Both times here at the Mule Deer Outpost, but I'm hopeful we can at least kind of make up for that. The only one I'm still seeing is this level 5, so we'll try to get him. Kind of intentionally went for a skull shot there, thinking we could get him in the brain. Second shot was a lung, but of course we're going to mess up the trophy with the headshot. And we'll go through and see what we've got, but unfortunately, and regardless of how well or poorly we could have shot there, no significant bears at all. I actually can't remember... The last one, I guess, was one of the diamonds from Thursday's video. And of course, those were from earlier in the week. So we probably have a good 300-ish bears since our last diamond are rare. Well, finally, our dry spill at least should be broken as long as we can make a halfway decent shot. A 23 to 25 estimate black bear. Pretty good odds that's going to be a really big one. And actually a decent spot in here again for the Mule Deer Outpost Lake. So after a fairly insignificant couple of runs, and actually two more insignificant runs on stream, and I think two after that, just in kind of casual grinding here, we have a level 9 that is a guaranteed diamond. Now, 
because he is a pretty high estimate, and the first time we've had this at the Mule Deer Outpost when we need to make a bunch of follow-ups, what we need to be careful of is watching to see if we get the stand-up glitch. I think we're all good, and it appears we are, so I just wanted to watch and make sure that, health, that his health was going to go down, because if it started to run and, and no health was dropping, we we're going to have to worry about a follow-up shot, but he's going to be down somewhere, and as I've probably said on numerous occasions by now, we've been to this lake, actually I mentioned at the beginning, over 100 times. You guys have probably seen this whole routine quite a few times, so we'll go ahead and jump to checking out that level 9. And I'm not too sure how this is going to fit into this video, so if the transition was a little bit awkward, it's because I had intended to end the video trophy bear or not after our second visit to the Mule Deer Outpost Lake, but after coming here, just, I guess it would be nearly 12 hours later, but still the same day, I figured might as well throw a level 9 in here, especially after what I mentioned were rather lackluster runs, so I don't know which is the level 9, it certainly is not that one. It's almost got to be one of these two, and I couldn't tell in the reads, I think it's actually the back one, because it looked to be the dusky fur type. That is a level 5. So then I think this is going to be R9, and it is actually the lowest of the 23 to 25 SM bears that we've gotten at 23.2. I'm trying to remember the max score and the max weight, two different bears that we've had. I, I, I almost want to say they were 23 to 26 estimate, not 23 to 25. But either way, at least of the now three that we've had with a minimum of 23 on the score estimate, that one is the lowest, but still guaranteed diamond and broke a streak of probably close to 400, maybe 500 bears with no diamonds or rares. So now for a slightly unplanned visit to the Trophy Lodge, which wouldn't have happened without the surprise level 9 at the end, but I'm just looking down these hallways and how crazy it is to watch this lodge fill with more and more bears. And of course, the new ones from today, a 23.24 diamond. Luckily that was there, otherwise the only thing we would have had was this level 1 and frankly, I think it's 18 diamonds to one minimum level. It seems to be much, much rarer to get a level one male black bear spawn, but even still, check another thing off the list, as I said, of possible black bear spawns, and hopefully, as we reach about 3,300 bear kills, hopefully getting closer to getting that great one. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.